Hi guys, so today we are going to develop a roll of Adox HR50 with Ilford's Ilfotec DDX. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got my changing bag, my film, scissors and tank and all I need to do now is get this inside here and then we're ready to go. Okay, so I've cut the tail off the film there. Now I just need to load it onto the reel. Let's jam it up on it. Uh, I'll try and do that again. Damn it. I don't know if it's probably scratching up the film really badly. See, it feels like it's jamming up again. What is going on? Ah, I just managed to get it back <laughs> on. I definitely think this is going to be a problem. <laughs> Definitely ruined a few frames there, guys. Um, but sure, it's all an experiment. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys! That was the most difficult one yet for putting on the Patterson reel. That just kept jamming up. There we go. So let's get to the development stage. That last. Okay, guys. So I have all my measuring beakers and stuff laid out here. Um, but the first um, one we're going to mix up is our DDX developer. So this is uh, one to four, so we need um, what is it? 60 mil of this to 240 mil of water, and that is at 20 degrees. Just trying to get this water up the temperature. There we go, we're about 20 degrees, so we need 200 and... 40. So the other two that we have is our Ilfo stop, which is 1 to 19. So that means we need 15 mil of this to 285 mil of water. And the last one we have is our rapid fix, which is the same as the developer, which is 1 to 4. So I'll get all these mixed up and see us again in a minute. So that's our developer, which is 60 mil. We just add that. Just add that to our water, and we'll give that all a good stir. That's what our Ilfo stop looks like. Which is kind of handy, so you, there's a color difference, so you know definitely not to mix this up with the developer. Oh. Now, definitely do not mix this up with your developer. It's got a very strong vinegary smell. Son, what are you doing? I'm doing developing. Are you? Are you going to do some developing with me? Yeah. Cool. I want to 
going to be. So we're also just going to get our photo flow ready guys. So as before, it's just one mil to 300 mil of water that I use. And everything is at 20 degrees by the way for this. I keep everything at the development temperature. Okay, so I've got everything kind of lined up as you can see there um, in the order of the way I'm going to do it. And there's Jakey. Jake's my son in everyone by the way. <laughs> For all of you who have never watched this channel before. Say hello to everyone, Jake. Hello. <laughs> That's the thermometer. For me? Uh -huh. For me to fix the seat? Yeah, I just need to check our developer. I think the temperature is more crucial for the developer, really, rather than the stop or the fix. Come on out of here, son, because you're going to knock the gun. Yeah, it looks like pee pee. <laughs> That's right. No. For this guys, I'm using the Massive Development Chart app, just for my timings. So we are Adox HR50, and we are using DDX1-4, to alright so 50. But what I'm going to do before I start this is I'm just going to pre-wash my film at 20 degrees as well. Okay, so... The camera wasn't recording there, don't know how much you saw, <laughs> um, but I'm now, I had just done the, the initial wash, so um, I just literally um, kept washing until the water went clear, so now I'm just looking for my agitation stick. Here we go. So, Let's get started. So I'm just going to start this and um, when it says do inversions, um, I'm just going to stick with my agitation and um, twirly stick method for now. Um, I think in, um, if I do another roll of HP5, I might try the inversion method. So I'm going to just start this as soon as I pour in all of the development. Now, when I'm using the agitation stick, I'm changing the direction every now and again, just to try and swirl the developer around there as much as I can. Okay, so now, wait a few more seconds, and actually I'm going to start pouring it out just now. So guys, um, just while we're waiting there, um, let me know down in the comments below what you think. Um, have you ever tried DDX before or shot on Adopt HR50? Um, and if you're liking this video, please leave a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. And um, there'll be plenty more videos. Um, we post every. Friday and Sunday though if there's a holiday on the Friday like we had at Christmas there I'll post a video on the Saturday. 
I do have a Cine Still C41 kit there um, that just came in the other day um, and I have a few rolls of uh, 120 Lomography 100 um, film that I want to use and um, maybe try and catch a few sunrises or sunsets um, with it so I uh, will be doing a video on that um, probably in the next couple of weeks um, now I've heard C41 chemicals really smell in there so we'll have to well ventilate okay now it says for the final wash is ten and a half minutes what I'm going to do is as I normally have done before I'm just going to rinse it and fill the tank ten times and then finish it off with the photo slope Okay guys, so the moment of truth is going to empty out the photo float. Now it looks like there's freedoms. It looks like it worked, though I bet yeah there's a lot of scratches on these so I will get them hung up and I'll take a closer look. We'll have to scan them and see um, but yeah that's what we've got at the minute um, I'm not sure if it was to do with how I how, oh sorry guys if it's to do with how I metered for the room or how it was developed but yeah these two at the top definitely look funny and there's a bit of a patch there in the middle of that frame so yeah, we'll let that dry, I'll scan them and you can check them out in the next episode of Let's Shoot. Um, these came actually from our, this, that'll be part two of the um, Island Hill photo walk video. So take care guys and we'll see you again next time.